God gave me a love story so much greater than I imagined for myself. I remember being a little girl, daydreaming about what life with my soulmate would someday be like. And then you wake up, and that someday is today. The day that I met you, May 24th, 2017, in that little town of Bundaberg, Australia, I knew that I had found someone worth waiting for. There isn't a part of me that believes we met by chance, but rather all because of God's goodness and design. My love, this day before us is just the beginning. The beginning of a lifetime together, memories yet to be created, and love to be displayed. You know by now that I'm probably the most indecisive person someone can meet. But one thing I have never been uncertain of is the deep love I have for you. Today, I take you Jack to be my husband, my partner for life. You are my one true love, loving you now and as you develop into all that God intends. I promise to encourage you, to be faithful to you no matter what, and to pray for you daily. I vow to be open and honest with you. I vow to have the grit and wisdom to choose love when times are hard. I vow to respect you, to care for you in sickness or in health. I vow to put God first in our relationship so I can love you as I ought to. I say these things before God, believing that He is in the midst of us, and only by Him can I fulfill them. I love you, Jack now and forever. And we rejoice in the uh, Christ-centeredness of it and pray that they will be truly blessed in their marriage one to another, that they will glorify God our Father, they will show the love of God to each other all the days of their life. We pray, our Father, that as they move forward from this day that is the beginning, that our Father each day would be marked by grace, love, compassion, and tenderness. We look to Thee that they would indeed enjoy Thy presence always, our Father, that they would go in the, the joy of the Lord, being their strength. And our Father, that Thou will bless them in all things. If I can just take one second, I think we can all just say, wow. <laughs> Hi. Today, before God and all these people, I am beyond humbled that I am standing here. When I consider our lives and all that God has done, truly it makes me wonder at His goodness. And I love that, that when I think of us and all that God has brought about in our lives, it humbles my heart and brings me with thankfulness nearer to God. The fact that I can confidently testify that God brought us together is a source of great strength, great responsibility and great joy to me. When I first considered dating you, I found it hard to believe that God would reach into this treasure chest and pick out the most beautiful gem just for me. But that's just what I find. God pointing and saying, Jack, this is the one for you. So Kayla, you are altogether precious to me. From the first time we spoke, my heart was warmed. I had found a kindred spirit. And as our relationship deepened, I couldn't believe it, I had found love. And then, when I got to know all who you are, I realized I had found something too precious to me. You waited so patiently for me, you prayed so earnestly for me, you cared so much about me, and in turn I say, Kayla, I love you. You're the most beautiful, loving, caring person I will ever make. When you smile, my heart is glad. And when you're in pain, my heart is sad. Our hearts beat as one, even though our journey has just begun. Our God is so good. Before Him and this audience, I make these vows to you.
I vow to love you in sickness and in health. I vow to protect you with all my being and strength. I vow to be me before God. I vow to cherish and nurture your unique personality and heart. I vow to encourage you spiritually, physically, and emotionally all the way. I vow to be a faithful husband and a loyal best friend. I vow to embrace your interests and help you achieve your spiritual ambitions. I vow to stand by you in prayer and support each day. I vow to lead you in love before the Lord. Gila, I am filled with joy to become your husband and you to become my wife. Wedding has been very much the goodness of God. And, uh, that's something that has just uh, struck both of us. It's always been so good. I mean, across the ocean, we're making the way and all the rest. We just want to acknowledge him as the uh, one in the room who is unseen. And through that, uh, there's no one I respect more than you. You have been a steadfast example of encouragement to me. And Make sure that you always stay the best of friends. Remember, Talk lots, keep no secrets, hide nothing, and... And to Mum, uh, thank you for all your love, and you mothered me well. I appreciate all your prayer through the years as I now cleave to my wife, and I'm thankful for all the lessons that you taught me in preparation for this day. And uh, just to quickly declare it, uh, again since you're not here, you are my one and only sister, and you have put up with endless teasing and taught me uh, more than you can know, sir. So. The Lord bless and love the children. You can rest assured that I'm very good love to talk to them about the fight we had to this evening. I'll tell them about your love for the things of God, your passion for their faith, and your commission to spread the gospel to man and his death. Keep close to the Lord, Jack. You'll be blessed in the name of mine. Thank him every day for her. And I pray that you will be Maybe you'll see the honor and glory of my name in all things as we start this new chapter together. You get a precious gem there in your hand. You agree? 100%. 100%. You agree to that. So, Drac, you are a great man and a force of blessing. The Lord has gifted you for his word and also provided you not only to help me, you are like two peas in a pod. Kayla, you have grown into your a beautiful woman. Your kind heart has blessed many everywhere. And wherever you will go also, I'm sure. You have touched the lives of folks from all over. And no matter where you are in this world, you will always be my little princess. No, I just want to say thank you for all that you've taught me in the last 20, what, 21, 22? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 23. Yes, in the, in the last 22 years, and you've been Example, and especially as a couple, um, we both admire you as a couple. Someone that is happy with a little bit, uh, with what he has, someone that likes to work outside, and someone that knows how to raise children. And then on the bottom it says, My goal, defend the board and follow us. So I think you pretty much nail all of those right over that. <laughs> <laughs> Who between uh, uh, him and 
guy uh, is indeed the best man. Okay? <laughs> Uh, in the car, and I thought, there has to be something with this Jack guy. Because I didn't even get the sister's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Kayla Biddick. Jack and Kayla Stewart. Je vous prie de bien vouloir agréer l'expression de l'expression. I'll try the bouquet, but he'll probably get it to